Okay, so what is play-based learning? Well, play is critical and is really important part of childhood learning. Lots, there's been lots and lots of research um, which supports that play has a positive impact on a child's learning and development as they go through school. Children learn well when they are mentally active, fully engaged, and have the social skills to be able to communicate with each other. And that's just the same for all children as they go through school and adults. We want them to be able to have those skills, and part of being in early years is, is to encourage those skills and develop those skills, skills for our students. Once they have those skills of being able to engage, be social, and that they're enjoying the learning, then they're able to make connections and meaningful connections so that they're able to link their learning to the world around them. And they, they make those connections themselves. So they, we give them the skills and the knowledge and they start to put an understanding of how they see the world together. We have a fantastic early years team here at Tenby Penang and they provide opportunities and create activities that enable our students to develop their knowledge and skills so that they have their own understanding of the world around them. Play, which is a really important part of children's development, allows children to investigate. We want children to explore, go away and find things out for themselves. So it's not just the teacher telling them how it is. And actually, if they go and explore and discover things for themselves, it becomes a memorable learning experience. That means if it's a memorable learning experience, they're more likely to remember it and be able to recall and use that learning experience later on. A teacher just telling them what to do, children will forget that information and learning takes place in the brain. So we want our children to be able to have those learning experiences stick so that they remember them and can recall them later on. So this means that we can continue to keep the students, students who are naturally curious about the world, we can continue that curiosity into early years. And we'll be able to give them the skills that they need to become lifelong learners. And that starts as young as the age of three, and even before they start school. Play is an important component of brain development. Um, play is fun. Everybody loves play, and therefore the students want to engage. And because they want to engage, they learn more. And so we make experiences for the children to allow them to learn, linked to our early learning goals. The opportunities that our great early years team provide mean that the children are motivated. The activities are fun. They also recognise that each student is unique, and therefore we encourage children to develop their personal interests. So if your child really loves dance, or really loves numbers, or words, and is keen to read and to write, our fantastic early years team will be able to recognise that, and they provide opportunities to support them to be able to thrive in those areas, and to further develop those skills and knowledge. Play also develops students' fine and gross motor skills. We have activities where they will be using tweezers to pick up little beads, to, and so they're creating their fine motor skills. We have them drawing letters in sand and, uh, and other ways to start their writing process and their mark making. It also encourages them to problem solve. Play encourages children to solve disagreements. It means that if something goes wrong, if they try to build a tower and it all falls down, the teacher doesn't step in and tell them how to do it. The children work together to work it out for themselves. And therefore, they remember that learning and they can use that knowledge again in other situations. Play also encourages them to um, have great communication, to cooperate with each other. And it also builds on their vocabulary, it gives them a much richer vocabulary when they learn to play and communicate with each other. It also helps them with their emotional skills, being able to self-regulate and think about how they can control their feelings and how they can express their feelings with each other. Okay, thank you very much for everybody who's joined. I've given a bit of information about what play-based learning is and what it's like in our school. Um, if you've got any questions, please do post them. This is a live session, so you've got the opportunity to ask any questions about um, play and the importance of play in early years, but also about early years in general.
Okay, thank you. Okay, so play. It's not just that they come into the school and we just let them go off and do whatever they like. This is structured and focused to play. And it's linked to the learning that we want the students to do. It's linked to our units of learning. And it's all about getting our students to get better. Learning is about getting better and improving all the time. So here at Tenby, our brilliant early years team create activities to allow the students to explore. We create teacher scaffolding activities and child-initiated experiences to support the development of all our students. The teachers' focus groups allow us to move students forward. It allows the teachers to work with those students and to make them get better. And this is at a pace that is developmentally right for them. All children are unique. We're all unique. So this gives us the opportunity to look at what that child enjoys doing, to see where their strengths and their areas for development is and the teacher then creates focus activities to support those students in getting better in all those areas. We're constantly making sure that our students are making progress, getting better and that we support them along their learning journey. Our students enjoy coming into school, early years is exciting. For you as parents, you're always nervous and anxious about sending your children to a new environment. They've been at home with you for the first few years of their life and sending them to a school environment is very nerve-wracking. And you often have lots of worries. But what we notice is that the children are really excited. It's a new environment for them to explore. And they love going to meet their friends, meet their classroom, and create those relationships. And they're really positive relationships with our early years team. Okay, good morning. Thank you to people who have joined us. So enabling environments. Play doesn't just happen. Our fantastic early years team create environments to ensure that we are giving all of our early years students the best opportunities to learn when they join our school. It's really important that our environment is warm, it's safe, it's secure and is a nurturing environment for our youngest students. As parents, it's essential, essential that you know your child is safe and happy. And for us, it's essential that we know that we are creating those environments for our students. We have a range of resources in early years. And these resources, the children get to know where they are in the classroom. They're able to use those resources when they're doing child-initiated play. So they're able to go around and take ownership of the classroom. And that's really important for a child to feel secure and happy so that they can make those learning steps um, in school. Um, we have resources indoors and outdoor. We have a play area and it's specially designated just for our early year students. Our uh, indoor area is also designated especially for our early year students. And play allows them to they, collaborate, encourage each other, take safe risks, because it's important that children understand that risk taking is part of learning, but it's done in a safe and secure environment. We provide a range of activities through play and through other activities that the teachers design and um, for different purposes. Sometimes it's for imagination and the children go off and they create their own imagination stories, they go into their own, own role play and that's a really important part of childhood development. They also have exploration areas. We think about their personal relationships and feelings and we encourage problem solving activities but we also know that there's times when children need to rest, when it's important that they have a quiet time in school and so they can reflect on their learning or take a break and have some quiet time to, to either concentrate on something specific or also to share a story with some others. Within our school, we have a construction area so they can build and this helps them with their, their most fine and gross motor skills. We have a home corner which they love, mimicking what it's like at home. They'll be mum, they'll be dad and pretending to, to cook, clean, put things away. They've got various toys and those toys come out and in at different times depending on the learning that we want the students to do. We've got a variety of books, we've got storytelling, we include music and art so the students get a wide variety 
Here, where I am today in our library, is another opportunity for students to come and learn in another safe and secure environment. So teachers build those warm relationships and so they nurture the child's development. We allow children the time and space to focus on the tasks that they are doing. One of the really lovely things about early years is that we can go at children's own pace. We're not having to rush them through. Yes, we have our early years goals that we are aiming for with our students, but we recognise that the children, as I said earlier, are unique, they're all individual, and so we see where a child is really interested in something or might need a little bit more support, then the teacher provides those opportunities. We also build activities that enable children to build on their emotional resilience and their social skills. You know, children are naturally, naturally social, and so we encourage children to communicate with each other, and if they're having difficulties with that, then the teacher steps in and supports them.